Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to get up a few looks for the holiday season. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on two different holiday makeup looks. It's that time of year where a lot of people have holiday parties to go to, whether it's work holiday parties or holiday parties that friends and family are throwing. Um, so I'm gonna do two different looks. One of them's gonna be like a brown smoky eye. And then the other one is gonna be your classic red lip with like a liner look. Hopefully the liner works out. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with the brown smoky eye look and then I'm gonna transition into the red lip. I really, really need the coverage for my skin, especially now that I have a lot more hyperpigmentation and breakouts. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the, I don't know if I'm gonna say it right. I feel like I'm gonna butcher it, but it's the Lancome tint idol ultra wear foundation and i'm just gonna apply it on the back of my hand and i'm using this guerlain foundation brush it might look a little bit light but this foundation is known uh, to oxidize which basically means that it will darken a little bit once it sets and you could already see the coverage that it gives but it's still looks skin-like. You could sort of start to see already that the foundation is darkening, so that's why you have, when, if you're gonna, go for this foundation, you have to be careful when choosing your shade. I would say maybe go a shade lighter than you think because it is gonna darken. I want some extra brightness. So I'm actually gonna use this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It looks like that. And it doesn't really add coverage, it just adds like a little bit of brightness to the under eye. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape right over it. And again, I really, really want coverage. And I want it to last me, so this concealer is perfect for that. So I'm just gonna go down along the sides of my nose to slim it a little bit. And bring it up in a triangle shape. So now before I powder, I actually wanna use a liquid bronzer just to tan up my face a little bit more. And I'm using this Laura Mercier Liquid Face Illuminator. And I think I saw Nikki Makeup using this. And if you don't know who Nikki Makeup is, please, please go follow her on Instagram. Her makeup is to die for. So I saw her using this and it looks like that. And I'm just gonna use it to bronze like the contour part of my face. You can see it's sort of starting to define and bronze up the cheeks. And then I'll go in with a powder bronzer over this. And 
and it gives a glow and a bronze. It's really, it's so good. I love this product so much. And Nikki Makeup is like the queen of glowing skin. Sometimes I wish I had that skin that you could really actually see your true skin through the makeup, but I just have way too much pigmentation and breakouts. And I guess I just like that. I'm more comfortable with full coverage. I'm just going to bring a little bit around my jawline. If you do have um, breakouts on any of these points of your face I'm not sure I would use this there because it is like an illuminating product and it would probably show the breakouts more so if you do have breakouts in that area maybe just go in straight with a, um, a powder bronzer or you can use a cream contour product uh, that doesn't have any like illuminating factor to it. Now I'm just going to set the areas that I highlighted and I'm using this RCMA translucent powder and I tap off the excess and now I'm just going to set my face. Okay, so I got um, a Bare Minerals like sample set, and let me tell you, Bare Minerals has stepped up their game. They came out with this, let me see, Well Rested Bare Minerals Eye Brightener. Holy crap, it is so good. I'm gonna add just a touch of brightness in this area over here. Now I'm just gonna go in with like a bronzing contour product by Kat Von D and it's the, um, what's it called again? The Shade and Light Palette. And literally always hit pan on these two shades. I just got, it's the refillable one, so um, I just got these two shades and I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. Um, but I'm gonna, the area where I use the Laura Mercier Illuminator, I'm gonna set that with this. Now I'm just gonna like define my cheekbones a little bit and I'm gonna go in with my Rodeo uh, contour powder. You can see it's starting like to define it. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. I feel like the way I always contour my nose changes but um, I finally found a way that I like doing it the best um, I don't take it all the way up because I my nose thins like on the top and widens on the bottom So I sort of wanted to go like that instead of like that. So I only do like half of my nose And then I'm gonna define my cupid's bow And I'm also gonna give my lip like a little pout so I'm gonna put it under here and now I'm gonna start blending everything out and again just patting not swiping I feel like this is an oldie but a goodie. Um, MAC Soft and Gentle, and I'm just gonna highlight down my nose. I'm gonna highlight with this Dior palette, and it's the Dior Backstage Glow Face palette. And I'm probably just gonna mix these top two shades for like a holiday glow. I'm 
gonna use some blush and I'm using this Morphe palette that I picked up and it is Cool Pro. And it has the most amazing colors in it. Look at that. So good. And I'm gonna use these two, this one and this one. It's called It Girl and Free. Now I am going to curl my lashes. And I'm using this Surat eyelash curler. So now because I spend so much time on my skin, I really feel like I'm more of like a skin person. Like I love the foundation and the highlight and the contour and the whatever, to, all of it. I love skin so much that by the time I get to eyes, like I really, really want to keep the eyes, um, I don't know if I would say simple, but like easy to do. Um, yeah, I guess simple. So I want like as little products as possible, but still trying to like achieve the look that I'm going for. So um, again, this is the brown smoky eye that I really want to do. And I'm going to be using this Giorgio Armani. Um, it's like a liquid eyeshadow and it's in the shade 19. And I'm going to use that as a base. And then on top of that, I'm going to put this Laura Mercier um, caviar stick in the shade khaki. And it looks like that. And it's like a dark brown. I'm just going to go in with my Rodeal Eye Sculpt which I never go a day without. I don't care what look I'm doing. I just want it underneath as like a base um, inside of my crease. So now I'm gonna put on the Giorgio Armani liquid eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put the caviar stick. And we go back in with that eye sculpt color I used and just blend the crease a little bit. I'm gonna use an inner corner highlight and I'm also using a Laura Mercier caviar stick in the color rose gold. And let's say this is a holiday party that you're going to like straight from work and you need to touch up your makeup um, right before you go. These are really easy products to just throw in your bag and touch it up. Just a nude eye pencil. I think this one is by Rimmel. And then I'm gonna smoke out the lash line underneath. And I'm just gonna go in with the caviar stick again in khaki. And I'm gonna put a touch of bottom mascara because I don't love bottom mascara. And I'm using this amazing mascara brush by MAC and it's the 205, I think that's what that says. And so I just take my wand and I dip it in like that. And if I feel like that's too much, I'll wipe it on the back of my hand and sort of just get the roots um, because my lashes on the bottom are so, so long, and I just feel like if I do it directly from the wands, it'll look a little bit too clownish for me. I'm gonna do brows off camera, just because it takes me a little bit, and I don't want my camera to keep overheating. Um, but I do, I think I have a video where I did my brows on camera. Um, I don't really have like a crazy technique to it, but if you want to see it in a video I could always put it in another one, but I will be right back. Okay, I am back. 
So on my brows, I used Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I use the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pomade to set them in place. So now I'm gonna do my lips. I really want like, um, I want a pinky lip. So I'm gonna start off with Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Kylie. I am gonna use KKW lipstick in Peach One. I hope it's not too light, but we'll see. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Ah, we'll roll with it. Last time I used this, it was in the summer and it was a lot darker, so. But I'm just gonna do like a little bit of a wash of it and blend it out with my finger. I have two oldies here that um, I really love. I wonder if they still make it. The first one is MAC Boy Bait. Do you guys remember this? And then um, NARS Turkish Delight. And these are probably so old. Um, but I am one of those people that does not throw out makeup. Um, it still works the same. So let me, I'm gonna try Turkish delight because it's more pinky it does sort of smell weird Ooh, maybe I should do a makeup clean out I don't know it smells a little weird and this is probably one of the first like makeup products I've ever gotten but I still really like the color And I think I'm gonna go in and just add um, a little bit more highlight to my cheekbones and I may even add the pink color too. Gonna add some into the brow bone. So I already curled my hair and I just did like messy curls like in alternating directions with a one inch wand by T3. And um, now I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna show you what I would wear with this look and then we'll get right into the next look. So I will be right back. So this is outfit number one. And the shoes are by Gian Vito Rossi and the dress is by Syncacept, I believe, and it's an old style, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find it, but if I do, I will link it down below. And I always say that like my style is very powerfully feminine but subtly sexy, and I feel like this is that in a dress. Um, so this is something I would probably wear to a holiday party or um, some sort of like work holiday party because it has that like sophistication factor, and I don't know if you could see, but um, it's like a deep, burgundy which I really love with the brown eye that I did um, and I really love the cut of the dress and this keyhole in the front because that's what gives it like this subtle sexiness so yeah this is the first look and so this dress is probably gonna go back in the closet where it belongs because I'm not going to be going to any holiday parties, but I hope this helps and I hope this gives you an idea. And let's go into the next look. I'm gonna okay, I am back and ready to do look number two. So this one is gonna be a red lip with um, a liner. So it's your like classic red lip look and so I took off all of the makeup and the lipstick not all of the makeup I left the base but I just took off the eyes and the lips but I do want to just touch up my concealer and um, I wanted to use this product because I've used it in the past and I really like it it's the hourglass um, retouching fluid concealer I'm using this shade fair because I found the other ones were a little bit darker and I obviously like a brighter under eye 
So because it's a retouching concealer, which is exactly what I need right now, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna retouch in the areas where I lost some of the coverage from removing the makeup. So I'm going to go in with uh, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And these are the shades. And I am going to go in with White Peach right here. I started applying with a brush and I wanted a brighter payoff. And then I'm just gonna use a color in the crease uh, just to blend it. And I think that's it for the eyes except for the liner. And I'm using the shade Puree, that one. And then I'll just blend that all out with a, <clears throat> a MAC. 217 brush. I really just like subtle eyes. If I'm gonna do like a bold lip, I don't really want the eyes to be heavy. And then I'm gonna try and do a thin ish line. <laughs> of eyeliner, but we'll see how that goes. So that's it for the eyeshadow. For eyeliner, I usually use um, the Stilla waterproof liner, but I ran out of it. So I'm gonna use, for this look, I'm gonna use the Tom Ford eyeliner. To be honest, I like the Stilla one more, but I think this is all I have right now. I'm actually gonna just touch up my blush, but I wanna use a little bit of a different color. So since I'm doing a red lip, I'm gonna use the color Queen, just to add a little bit of redness to the cheeks, because I like tying everything together. And then for lips, I'm like debating between a few colors. Um, this is more of like your classic red lip. It's Lady Balls by Too Faced, but I don't really like red red. Like I like a little bit of like an orange tint. This is Anastasia Persimmon Liquid Lipstick. I think I'm gonna use We'll see. I think I'm gonna use Tom Ford Flame. And it looks like that. It's a really, really pretty like orange red, but I feel like it's coming up orange on screen, but hopefully it won't once I put it on. So I'm just gonna grab a lip liner. 
I'm using red with two D's from MAC. I'm just going to line my lips. And this is the finished second holiday look. I'm gonna go get changed and I'm gonna show you how I would style this up with a bold lip and I will be right back. And then this would be the second look that I would wear to a holiday party. The pants are mango, the shoes are Zara, and the top is Theory. And I just threw my hair up because the curls were starting to fall out. So I would probably wear my hair like this. I sort of like um, the messy pony with the sort of like more sophisticated tailored outfit. <laughs> 